Hello everyone, welcome to Tutor IMG's short medical series. Now I'm going to continue with the antipsychotic side effects. This is going to be part four, and one of the most important ones is NMS. It's a great fear um, when patients are started on antipsychotic therapy. And um, one of the sure shot ways that uh, doctors can determine whether patients will suffer from this is to screen them for, um, for previous episodes, right? So that's, uh, that's the, the ultimate risk factor that you need to watch out for. Now, um, patients who, have, um, who belong to the African ethnicity, to the Asian ethnicity, and to the Hispanic ethnicity, they are at increased risk. Young male patients, um, first time users of these antipsychotics, and usually the syndrome develops pretty rapidly after they take the first dose. Now, what they experience is usually fever, rigidity of a global uh, nature, where the whole body feels like it's become a log, changes in the mental status. Um, there's going to be rhabdomyolysis, extremely painful, right? And due to this, of course, increased levels of C, the creatinine kinase. This, of course, is a potentially fatal condition that a patient can um, experience. Um, because of its increased fatality, physicians are extremely careful, and the minute the patient develops anything that looks like NMS, they stop the offending drug right away, right? The other thing to do is also stop any lithium that the patient may be taking. Stop any serotonin uh, containing, serotonergic um, you know, drugs that the patient's taking. Stop any anticholinergics as well that the patient might be taking. So these are things that you need to stop right away. Add to that supportive therapy, which basically means giving the patient IV fluids, putting them on a mechanical ventilator because they're definitely going to need that, and giving them um, cooling blankets, which are going to help bring the fever down um, and restrict or rather you know, limit the amount of destruction that's happening. These patients will definitely need blood pressure management as well because uh, you know, these drugs uh, shoot the blood pressure up. And uh, one thing you must mention on your um, you know, short, short um, questions, case discussions, is that the importance of heparin or low molecular weight heparin uh, for these patients to prevent the um, you know, development of DDT. Now, specific treatments that you might uh, want to remember are dantrolene, right, and bromocryptine. After that, some benzos for, um, you know, just bringing down the um, anxiety and the, um, the, uh, the state that the patient's in to help them with that. Dantrolene, one limitation I want you guys to remember and watch out for is if there's any indication of liver failure, Right, with the LFTs being, uh, being raised, I want you to stay away from this choice. Okay, choose bromocryptine instead. Um, what do you do after a patient has experienced this? Now, th these patients, of course, will be needing the medication. So what do you do? You wait at least two weeks before you start the medicine again. You will, of course, now use a lower potency drug um, as opposed to the one you were using before. And you will start that at a lower dose and titrate upwards gradually. You will avoid adding lithium to this patient's schedule for a bit till they're stable. You will also avoid and be uh, you know, cautious uh, about them developing dehydration. And of course, careful monitoring of their uh, symptoms is very, very important because as I mentioned right at the start, um, having NMS one time is the biggest risk factor for developing it again, and um, you don't want this. So the closest, um, uh, one thing that requires mention is serotonergic syndrome, which looks a lot like NMS, but it can be differentiated based on the GI symptoms that are present. Also, the global rigidity of NMS is replaced by myoclonus in patients with serotonergic syndrome, and they are uh, more shivering and more flushed as opposed to the patients with NMS, and they will have ataxia. So I hope this helps you on the boards and uh, keep following us for more such informative videos and do support our channel. Thank you.